Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I know we had uh, so many issues during the online class, and even I was no way satisfied uh, with the explanation, you know, because these people kept on messaging that the audio was not very much clear. So there were issues with the network. So keeping all those issues aside, I just want to uh, retake the class what I had done during uh, the online meeting or the online class. First of all, speaking about the uh, subject that is pharmaceutical engineering. The pharmaceutical engineering comes under the specialization of pharmaceutics, where it is a very uh, peculiar, typical subject or a different subject where you have the opportunity to study about the equipments which we use in the pharmaceutical industry during formulation. See, in first semester, what you study, you study all about pharmaceutics, that is, you study about the different dosage forms. That is, you get familiar with the words such as active ingredient, uh, excipients, drug, dosage forms, the various dosage forms. You study uh, the basics of all the different types of dosage forms, right? Okay. But did you ever think of what all equipment shall, will be used to manufacture these dosage forms? So, in pharmaceutical engineering, you are going to study all about the equipments used in pharmaceutical industry for manufacturing of those dosage forms which you have studied in first semester. Whereas, physical pharmaceutics is a subject where we study about the basic concepts, the concepts which will be helpful for you throughout the course or even thereafter. That is the basics for understanding of various other concepts, which will be very much helpful even for your for the studies. That is for your PG course and all. But pharmaceutical engineering, you are going to study all about in and out about equipment, like what the equipment will be made up of. That is what material we can use to uh, develop this equipment. How it is going to work? What are its positive points? That is, what are its advantages, disadvantages? what will be its applications and what will be its mechanism or maybe the principle like this you are going to study in detail about the various equipments used for various unit operations now question is what is unit operation see formulation means uh, we are going to end up with a product now the step by step process or step by step operations which will sum up together to give out a product or to end up with a product that we call it as unit operation like n number of unit operations club together will be resulting in a pharmaceutical formulation or will end up with a product a final product so every single step or every single operation which is involved in the formulation we call it as unit operation and i had uh, read out those the chapters the units uh, which we'll be having at a pharmaceutical engineering most of the units except the last unit all those chapter names are nothing but the examples for unit operations for example mixing is an unit operation filtration again it's an unit operation distillation drying size reduction size separation and evaporation all these are the examples for unit operation got my point so the step by step process or the steps which are involved in formulations formulation the individual steps are called as unit operations and like that today or now i'll start up with uh, start up with the chapter of pharmaceutical engineering that is an example of unit of, of an unit operation that is mixing this is a very simple chapter. You must be wondering why I uh, abruptly started with the chapter which is in between the syllabus. Thing is that here I want to start pharmaceutical engineering with a very simple concept or a very simple chapter so that we get used to, so that our rapport matches. Thereafter, I'll start up with the uh, other chapters which may be a bit hectic when compared to the uh, the first chapter or the, the or the another one. So here, first of all, speaking about mixing. Mixing, it is a process that tends to result in randomization of dissimilar particles within a system. 
this already had explained in the online class isn't it so what is mixing the objective of mixing is to result in a homogeneous product that is you are going to uh, randomize or mix up or bring together two dissimilar particles so that it gives a homogeneous product that is the term mix means to put together in one mass here you also would have come across the term blending the term blending means to mix smoothly and inseparably together during which a minimum energy is imparted even to the bed so blending means to mix smoothly and inseparably here the term mixing and blending are commonly used interchangeably or they use it as if the terms are synonym uh, what is that uh, a synonym uh, synonymous or they are synonyms but there is uh, there is definitely a difference between the term mixing and blending here especially blending we speak about inseparable mixing or they are inseparable or irreversible kind whereas mixing uh, again on application of certain forces or maybe certain processes we can even achieve demixing but it is not the same in case of blending so this is all about the definition of mixing and blending and before going to this classification of mixing here i want you to know about two more terminologies based upon the flow properties of solids we are having two different types of solids that is based on their flow property flow property means the ability of a part particle or ability of a powder or ability of a solid to flow based on that we are having cohesive particles uh, or materials and non cohesive materials firstly cohesive materials means yeah cohesive materials means they offer resistance to the flow of the particles or maybe the materials for example wet clay that is if i put wet clay in a funnel and i keep a beaker below the funnel does the wet clay flow down no that is this wet clay is offering resistance so that is about cohesive materials whereas coming to non cohesive materials these are the solid particles or maybe the solids which are having free flow property that is they are having excellent flow property example is grains plastic chips or maybe the sand etc these are the solids which flow freely these solids are called as non cohesive materials or non cohesive solids okay then coming to the classification of mixing here we are having mixing of solids that is two dissimilar solids being mixed that process we call it as mixing of solids mixing of liquids two liquids being mixed we call it as mixing of liquids mixing of immiscible liquids in the last class also I, when i spoke about pp i had asked you what is the formulation which consists of two immiscible liquids and i remember your answer was right that is emulsion so mixing of immiscible liquids that is also a type of classification uh, that is also a type of mixing next mixing of semi solids and examples these ointments gels paste etc all that all those formulations include the unit operation of mixing of semi solids now for your syllabus you are having a two mark question to differentiate between mixing of solids and mixing of liquids so i want to concentrate on that now speaking about mixing of solids or if i have to directly uh, just a second students in this slide you can see the last sentence that is depending on their flow property solids are divided into two classes this cohesive and non cohesive so i just thought i'll show you the sentence in this slide okay now i want to differentiate between mixing of Uh, the uh, mixing of solids and mixing of liquids in case of solid mixing first of all it requires high power or high energy will be required solid mixing requires high power but liquid mixing requires low power and coming to the second difference flow currents flow currents are not seen in solid mixing but flow currents are seen in liquid mixing 
For example, you take a glass of beaker, add water, and you mix it with the help of a spoon. Let us just stir it, stir it with high speed. You can see a flow current, a tornado kind, or maybe a cyclone kind of whirl around this spoon. That we call it as a flow current, but such kind of flow current is not seen in case of solid mixing. So flow currents are not possible in solid mixing. Flow currents are seen in case of liquid mixing. Solid liquid uh, solid mixing requires high power. Liquid mixing requires low power. Third difference: a homogeneous product is usually not seen in case of solid mixing. It is whatever mixing you do, but still we can easily see. uh the we can differentiate the particles we can easily differentiate the two dissimilar particles that is the product often consists of two or more easily identifiable faces it can't be a perfect or it can't be a homogeneous mixture or it will be difficult to achieve a homogeneous mixture in case of solid mixing whereas a truly homogeneous liquid phase can be observed in case of liquid mixing next coming to this last difference between solid mixing and liquid mixing in case of solid mixing large sample size is required that is in order to check the degree of mixing you have to take huge amount of this product to check what is the extent of mixing in solid mixing operation whereas in case of liquid mixing a small sample is sufficient to study the degree of mixing for example i take 1 kg of uh, some sand and 1 kg of sugar i'll mix i'll mix it for half an hour then if i have to check what i'll do maybe instead of a spoon i'll have to take a cup of the product to check to what extent the mixing is efficient in case on the other hand i'll just take uh, water and milk and mix one spoon will be sufficient to check the degree of mixing that is checking the degree of mixing will be will be requiring a very small sample size for liquid mixing whereas large sample size is required for solid mixing that is all about the difference between solid mixing and liquid mixing and next here speaking about the objectives of mixing mixing will be or applications of mixing i told you always uses and applications are the same whereas advantages and disadvantages are different okay here yeah, speaking about the objectives of mixing it is mainly to achieve a physical mixture or to bring a physical change to achieve a dispersion or to promote a chemical reaction and uh, most importantly this mixing is a unit operation for tablet or it may be the capsule because many ingredients like uh, the active ingredient that is the drug and the excipients have to be mixed so definitely mixing is an unit operation involved in the formulation of tablets or capsules and not only that other applications of mixing are wet mixing is definitely seen in case of granulation step in the production of tablets and capsules if at all and the other application is if at all if you are going for direct compression tablets that are what you do you go for dry mixing so whether it is wet mixing or dry mixing but you see that mixing is an unit operation in manufacture of solid dosage forms next we also see dry blending of powders it may be in case of capsules or dry syrups and powders or even mixing is seen during the production of pellets or capsules like this mixing is very important in the formulation of dosage forms and uh, so these were uh, about some of the applications so in today's online classes in uh, in today's online class this is what all uh, this is what all i dealt with so in the next class whenever we have the next class i'll be definitely again sending you all the ppt along with the pdf and this recording ठीक है चलो एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेंट द पीडीएफ प्लीज गो थ्रू दैट ओनली व्हाट एवर आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग और गिविंग इंपॉर्टेंस टू दैट मच यू स्टडी एंड फॉर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंजीनियरिंग 
again a separate uh, preparation of notes and all is not required directly you can study uh, or whatever i explain from the textbook that will be sufficient if you want to make it in a very concise way what you can do is the points whatever i am explaining from this pdf what i have sent you can note them separately so that you will have a very concise and compact notes so other than this textbook pdf i am not going to give any kind of prepared material because that is not required the textbook itself is sufficient or it is apt for your for passing of your exam okay